Okay, so welcome back. Now, I have always been a big fan of Microsoft Visual Studio, especially the community version that's free. Absolutely wonderful piece of software. Got a lot of functionality. But for many years, I've had one big issue with Visual Studio, and that is that you can't do what you can do in most applications in the world, and that is go to File and Save As. So for example, if you have a Word document and you want to save a copy with a different name that you can modify, you can't really do that in Visual Studio. There are ways around it, but it's really complex and it's not worth the hassle as far as I'm concerned. So it would be really nice if there was a simple save as to save your project or your solution as a completely different name, a copy that you can go modify and it's totally separate from your solution or project that you're working on. Now, there's a way around that, and that is using a Git repository where you can save changes, and then you can get a separate branch with a different name and get a different version. Uh, again, a little bit more complex than uh, just doing a file save as. However, there is one other option, and that is what's called templates. And templates allow you to save your project as a template file that you can then read into a brand new solution and it has all of the code in that project ready to go as a project in that solution. And that's really nice if you have, for example, in the engineering world, there are things that you do on a regular basis, like you read in data, uh, you analyze the data, you chart the data. Um, it'd be really nice if you could set up a project with the basic functionality, the framework of those functions already set up in code so you don't have to reinvent the wheel and rewrite it every time. So here I've got a simple project called Data Analysis. And what it does is we'll start it up and you can see that it basically has a chart here. It's got a text box and a couple buttons. And what I can do is I can click the button, load a CSV file, and what it does is it parses the CSV and takes the data and charts it in this chart. And it configures the chart and sets everything up. And it gives you a text box where you can have some feedback if you want. And a couple buttons, it's got an exit button. And this functionality is something in the engineering world you might use fairly often. What we're gonna show you is how to set up a basic framework application or project for what you normally do and save that as a template. And then when you start up a new solution, you can just load that template and all that code is already ready to go and you can just modify it and run your solution to do something different. So here is our basic project in our solution. We call it data analysis and we've got some standard format. What I do is I've got documents to do. I've got some properties and I've got an initial directory for the open file dialog. I've got a file name and I've got the lines that we get extracted from that CSV file as a list of strings. And then as I normally do, if I'm going to chart things, I've got some list of doubles for X values and Y values that we're going to populate with that data. And then I've got basically just I have the standard initialized component and then I've got a method called initialized chart. And as we talked about before, what we've got here is we've got a chart class. And we did a video on how to, how to make a chart class. And the reason why you want to do this is because, as you can see here, and as we talked about before, configuring a chart in Windows Forms can take many, many lines of codes just to get it all set up. So, for example, here I've got maybe 170 lines of code. And all this does is it allows you to configure your chart with different properties and it does it all in the background and it sets it up. So all you have to do is, for example, call the x-axis method here in this class, feed it some values and it will, in the background, configure the x-axis uh, minimum, maximum intervals, whether you want minor intervals, what format you want. If you want to zoom the chart, it sets it up. We talked in a recent video about how to zoom the chart. And we do the same thing for the y-axis and then we can uh, have a a second series of data on a Y2 axis that you can configure. You can auto scale. Uh, and so basically it does all of that in the background. And as you can see here, all you have to do is run this initialized chart method. And with these three lines of code, you can initialize a new line chart class. 
and you can set up the x-axis and y-axis just by feeding these methods with some values and it basically configures everything and you're all set to go. So really nice to have this already if you're going to do charts. And then we also have an analyze data where it takes the data from the CSV file for each line in the lines of data. We do a split to get the two values. We convert those to double and add those to our X values and Y values. And then um, our plot data basically just binds those lists of doubles to chart it. And then the event handlers, we've got a button load which basically does an open file dialog. It's really nice if you often do an open file dialog with like CSV or text files to have this code all set to go. So we do the, um, we limit it to CSV files. We do the uh, open file dialog and then we read all the lines as a list of string and then call the analyze data. We also have, when we, we talked recently about zooming your chart, we also talked about how you can reset the um, scales of the X and Y axis just by left clicking. And this event handler allows you to um, reset the zoom of the X and Y axis. So all of this stuff is all ready to go. It allows you to do an open file dialog, to set up your chart, to process the data, and really nice way to get the basic framework for stuff that you might do on a regular basis. So let's see how we can convert this project into a template that we can then load into a new solution with a new name and have all of this ready to go as a project so that we can use it for other functions. So the first thing we're going to do, we've got our project, we've got the data analysis project here. And what we have to do, you might think that you would right click on this to save it as a template. Well, no. you. Click on this and go up to Project in the menu. And here we want to Export Template. So make sure you go to the Project Menu item, Export Template. And here we've got a choice. We can either save an item as a template. And we've talked about that before where we can save a class. For example, our chart class, we can save that as a class template instead of the entire project. In this case, we're going to select a project template and it's going to use this data analysis project. So we're going to do next and we're going to give the template a name. I'm going to call it data analysis template and we can give it a description. Data analysis template for reading CSV files, processing and charting. You can add icons or preview images. Um, it's going to put it in a certain location as a zip file. And then we can automatically import the template into Visual Studio and display an Explorer window on the Output Files folder. And you can see here it gives me the location of the templates in my Documents Visual Studio 2022, my exported templates. And here's the new data analysis template.zip, and it's a zip file. So now that you've got that, all you have to do is when you start a new solution, just search for that template and load it and that all of this code will be ready to go and this project will be ready to go in your solution. So let's take a look and um, start up a brand new solution and see how that works. So I'm going to start a new solution. We're going to create a new project and I'm going to search for data analysis and you can see here's our data analysis template. So it will automatically set up a solution and a project with this data analysis template and I'll hit next and we can name it data analysis project and it will save it and create and now we've got a brand new solution and a new project called data analysis project and all of the data that we had in that project is here. So I can double click on form one and we've got our form with our text box, two buttons and a chart. And I can hit F7 and it shows the code. I can click, double click on the line chart. You can see our line chart class is there and I can run it. And we've got the entire project all set to go and it does the exact same thing. So wonderful way to save a project with basic functionality used quite often 
save it as a template and then just reload it in any solution you want and all of that code is ready to go or you can modify it do whatever you want so that's about it for this one if you're liking these videos i encourage you to hit the like button subscribe hit the bell notifications but most of all please let others know that we're here so we get some views really appreciate it otherwise take care have a really good day thanks